Hey YouTube fans, Soldier Pokemon 6 r 7 and I'm doing a review on how to upgrade the Nokia 5800 to version 40. Now there's originally two ways to do this. Now you cannot do it OTA which is over the air because that's not really available right now. But you can do it NSU which is the Nokia software updater. So once you plug in your 5800 and you put it into PC Suite, take a few seconds to come on. Um, Sorry, it's a bit slow. Yep, there it is. Now there's the 5800, it's connected. So once you do that, and you should have NSU, which is the software data. If not, go to Nokia's official website and download it, and there it is. And you start it up. You please run it in administrator mode, and it won't work this is for Vista and Windows 7 only and it doesn't apply for Windows XP also you have to run this in XP mode if you're going to install it in Vista or this I mean sorry Windows 7 because it won't install because Windows 7 ain't compatible with this but it, it just is alright uh, the application is starting is a bit slow the application it needs more than I think 5 12 megabytes, so you need about a gig RAM to run this program. I'm only saying this because I had problem doing it on my computer, so I had to do it on my laptop. So once you start it, you have to have your phone in general. Your phone has to be either charged or fully charged, and you gotta back everything up. So you go next, and it's gonna search for your connection device and identify it. A little picture is gonna come up here. And it's the Nokia 5800 RM 356 and its current version is 40 of course I've installed it so straight away when you come here yours ain't going to be 40 it's going to be 30 and just click on install here it's not going to be reinstalled install so that's one way of doing it and if now this is a problem I had I could not install it because the product key I had was not approved it wouldn't let me so what I had to do, I had to change the product key. Now changing the product key is not harmful to the phone, not what I have experienced, but it can do some damage to your phone. So you're doing this at your own risk if you want to change it. Or you can just wait for Nokia to um, give a version for your product key or your region. So straight away, if you want to change your product key, you're going to have to go to this website. Um, if you can't see it, I'll put a link in the description to the left. I mean to the right, sorry. P P I'm sorry, B Freaks something blah blah blah. And you're gonna download the Nemesis service suite which can change the product key. So you just click on download the beta there and you click on it. A little window like this will come. I'm not gonna save it, I've already done that. Once you do that, you have to find your product keys. Now I'll walk you through um, Nemesis Suite. Now it's gonna show up here like this, NSS, and I'll click on anything except the actual NSS program. Then this will come up. And remember to have your product keys at the back. So straight away, your phone is 100% plugged in. You click on scan for new devices in the corner. And it'll scan. And it found my 5800. So now go to phone info and all of this so I'll have to click on read and then there's my product key and stuff like this so what you do you click on enable product key and you change it to whatever you want now if your product key ain't working you use any one of these remember if you're in Europe you use these ones and if you're in if you're in Europe you use these ones and of course in the US you're gonna have to find your own product key but this is the ones I found because I'm in Europe right now and you just delete your product key so that's my one you delete it and you write one of those in then you click you click write you click read and there's a new product key now of course I just did that I didn't put any new product key in because that might mess my phone up so then you just exit the whole thing and that's it you got a completely new product after that you exit and you run the Nokia 
um, software updater again and this time it should let you install version 40 um, thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and thank you for watching good bye